The Nikon Z6 and Z7, when paired with the Blackmagic Video Assist, makes for an amazing tool that will enhance the output of any filmmaker. In this video, we will take you through how to set up either the Z6 or Z7 to record in Blackmagic RAW. First, a little bit more about the Z6. As one of the most powerful mirrorless cameras on the market, the Z6 comes equipped with outstanding video features, including the ability to shoot internal 8-bit 420-4K footage. With the use of Blackmagic Video Assist, the Z6 is capable of delivering 12-bit Blackmagic RAW footage over HDMI, all in 4K. The added production power of Blackmagic RAW offers tremendous workflow speed, as well as high dynamic range for filmmakers. Combined with high image quality and extensive metadata, filmmakers can now benefit from additional flexibility in post-production, such as color grading, exposure control, and maximizing the output of the Z6. Before we start, make sure you have visited a Nikon service center and have your Z6 or Z7 updated with the RAW firmware. Let's begin. First, start by connecting a mini to standard HDMI cable. The Nikon Z6 features a mini HDMI output. Plug the standard end of the HDMI into the Blackmagic Video Assist recorder. Let's take a look at how to set up your Nikon Z series for recording in Blackmagic RAW. First, turn on your camera. Now, let's turn the main mode dial to M for manual exposure. Then switch the camera into video capture mode. Firstly, the standby timer needs to be set to no limit. Press menu, then navigate through to custom menu settings and select C, timers AE lock. Select C3, power off delay. Select standby timer. Select the No Limit option. Next, we need to enable the Z6's HDMI output mode. Return to Main Menu and select Setup Menu, then select HDMI. And navigate to the Advanced option. And select External Recording Control. Select the On option. Next, select Raw Output Options. The Raw Output Type needs to be set. For Blackmagic Raw, select Type B. Navigate back to the menu. Select Raw Output. This needs to be set to Enable. Select a Raw Output Mode Resolution. You can set this to your desired resolution. In this example, we have selected 3840 by 2160 25p FX, which is 4K UHD at 25 frames in full frame mode. Now to set up timecode functionality, return to the main menu and select the movie shooting menu. Navigate through the timecode. Select record timecodes and select on with HDMI output. Select count up method and choose record run. For time code origin, select current time. Now we need to set up the Blackmagic Video Assist. First, turn on the Blackmagic Video Assist recorder. Navigate to the Tab Dashboard menu by tapping on the top right icon. Under the Record tab, select HDMI as the input. Select Blackmagic RAW for the codec. For codec quality, choose your preferred codec quality. For this example, we have chosen constant bitrate 5 to 1. After setting up the codec, please swipe the screen and set up the trigger record. Select Video Start Stop and then alert. For timecode setup, navigate to the setup tab. Scroll across to the second screen. Under timecode input video, select video input. Timecode preference can be set to default. Now you're ready to record Blackmagic RAW. 